What is up my trader homies? It's your boy Kevin from Touchdown Trades. Today we had a huge move put in on this KODK stock, Eastman Kodak. You guys know what it is. They used to make the cameras where the, the wheels would, you'd crank the wheel, take a picture, and then you'd have to crank the wheel and take the picture again. And then when you're done with the camera, you take it to the, the uh, camera like wolf camera and get it man get the pictures printed out and then you throw the, the disposable camera away so this kodak has been on a bad bad ride since the demise of taking your camera or taking your film rolls to the uh the film place and having the pictures printed out there since the development of people having cameras with SIM cards in them and they can print them out themselves or just store them on a USB disc, this Kodak has taken an absolute monster hit. But today, it's coming back with a vengeance. Up over 200% on the day. What a clean move here, pre-market. And after hours, we got another four dollar move so why is this thing so strong why is it up 250 300 percent at the current moment at the current level well that's what we're going to be breaking down today we're going to be breaking down the news we're going to be breaking down the chart and we're going to be talking about how we can profit off this kodak stock so let's talk about this old school company this old school film company in today's touchdown trades market analysis All right, guys. So just go on Google Images and Google Kodak, and this is what comes up. And it just brings back my childhood. You know, you're going on vacation or you're going to do something fun. You stopped at the convenience store and you got a disposable camera and you just wound it up. You took your picture, and then you had it. I mean, it was a simpler day, simpler time, but with the on onslaught of the disposable cameras and the film the disposable film it just got killed by the digital cameras that could take a usb drive or a sim card and the kodak has just been slaughtered over the past few years the stock has well today that changed and we had a huge move put in over a 300 percent move at current levels and it was brought on by some really weird news some unexpected news and let's talk about the news real quick. So Kodak is getting a $765 million loan from the US government to make ingredients for the Rona Rona drugs. I'm not sure if it's the vaccine or just like therapeutics, but they're getting a grant or a loan, so to say, to, to help make ingredients for drugs. So going from manufacturing disposable cameras and film rolls to not to then trying to get into the camera industry making the actual digital cameras failing at that to then moving to making TVs we can see they even tried to get into the TV business I even think at one point they tried to make cell phones all failed and now they're moving into the drug space where they're going to try to get involved in the this thing right here, keyword right here, business. And that is going to be big business. We all know it. So these companies that are struggling are going to try to use this keyword to help boost their stock price. Well, it could, it could be legit though because the U.S. government likes to help failing companies, right? And Kodak may have the infrastructure I'm not sure if they have the warehouses that they could bring in and build factories to where they could manufacture some of the ingredients needed in COVID therapeutics or COVID vaccines, but it, it really is an interesting turn for the, this Kodak film company. All right, so now that we know what's going on, kind of kind of know what's going on, this, this PR really took me by surprise when I saw this. And it was just such a clean move, too, that it was just, it just kind of brings me back to the 90s and uh, having, having a uh, crank camera where you take the pictures. 
You know, it just brings you back to your childhood a little bit. But all right, enough of that, enough reminiscing. Let's get into the charts here. So look at this move, guys. This move pre-market, it was just very strong. And off the bell, you could, could have caught a nice little dip trade and sold it into the squeeze. But if you tried to buy the pre-market break right off that opening, opening candle, you probably would have got stopped out. And it kind of just faded off the rest of the day. But here after hours, the short sellers were like, screw this, I'm not gonna hold this overnight. And they're covering their positions right now. And that is what is causing this squeeze. So we'll see what happens. A $750 million loan can really spark some life into a company, especially if they have the space and the resources to get manufacturing done on the, some kind of therapeutic or some kind of ingredient that is needed for the vaccines that are going to be tested pretty a lot of vaccines are going to be tested so if they can come up with an ingredient that the vaccine companies would rather outsource to a company like kodak it really could be legit and we'll see but let's look we need to look back way way back at this chart and see like on a monthly time frame and see what's going on plot out some levels and then go from there all right, guys, so here's a monthly chart of the Kodak, and this is going back to 2013. The company filed for bankruptcy in 2012, so as far back as we can go is 2012. So ever since then, it's just been really a sell-off. They've tried a lot of projects, and none of them have really developed. But what's crazy about this Kodak company is that in 2001, they purchased a large stake of a photo sharing website like a social media photo sharing website and if they had just only embraced that idea and taken it to something like a been the first like you could go online post a photo online that you took with your Kodak camera imagine what that could be today but they kind of threw it to the wayside and Zuckerberg came in swooped it up and the rest is history and this Kodak has really suffered because they couldn't just turn into what the technology was becoming. They wanted to stick with the film business, and it just really killed them. So we really don't have anything to base anything off of the monthly chart. We do have a couple levels we can plot out, like right here, this uh, 1320 level. But we really have to look at like a 180-day uh, chart. You can see there's nothing to base a trade off of. If we look at a one-year chart, nothing to base a trade off of. And then we go to a weekly chart. I found a few levels off the weekly chart, like this pivot here, this $10, and it's basically a $10 pivot. You got a couple more levels up here, and you do have an $8.50 level as well. So there isn't really much to base a trade off of except these intraday levels that we have from today's trading so I will be watching this tomorrow and if we get a hard wash off the open say and break down through ten dollars I'll look to scoop up some shares through the ten dollar wash and look to get a ride back up but if it's just grinding lower I'm not gonna mess around with it I'm gonna need to see a bar off the open that looks say this is the open right here for tomorrow it's going to need to be a pretty hard sell through 10 here's 10 and i'll buy on the 10 dollar break and then i'll look for a move back towards say 10.50 or so but it's just it's just too weird for me to want to invest in this as like a longer term swing trade because i just don't see kodak being able to transition into they've tried so many different business models and have failed in all of them why are they going to be successful in this one that's just my personal opinion i wish them the best it's an american company and i hope they can find their way and find their path back to being a profitable company but i'm not going to be placing a bet on this kodak but i will trade it and i will be looking for that ten dollar washout tomorrow morning on the open thing looks strong after hours it could go to 15 20 dollars here before the market opens tomorrow but if it's hovering around this current trading price that it's at right now we'll say this area 
pre-market tomorrow and then we get that ten dollar wash i'm going to get long just looking for a quick little trade off the open i appreciate the view guys go get yourself an instant camera with the little windy wheel and take some pictures you know it's that kodak moment i appreciate the view smash like smash subscribe and i'll catch you guys in the next video peace out Drop.